my lovelies. Right, so as you can see, I have a nice big messy desk, which is pretty normal for me, if I'm honest. But anyway, so I'm Woo from Woo's Creations, and I have filmed this video because I am going to be on holiday. Very excited. It's now very late at night, and my desk was a mess because I'd created a birthday card for a lovely friend's little girl's third birthday. Um, but it was a theme where I could use the DSP from Stampin' Up, but the, the characters on it were not Stampin' Up. So I decided I was going to make, because I've got lots of scraps left, as you can see. So I thought I'd create um, a little birthday card. So hers was A5, this is going to be A6. So... I have lots of scraps ready and then what I've done for the last sort of 10 minutes is I've stamped and die cut. Now these are so easy. This set is fabulous because when you stamp the image, it's already coloured in for you. So choose a nice colour. So I've used uh, soft suede for this bear. As you can see, I've stamped him. Can you see that over there? Just about, maybe. Um, so I've stamped him a little bit down there. Let me just move this a little bit closer so you can see where I'm working. There we go, it's a bit better. I think my, my um, frame just keeps moving a little bit. So, and then once you've stamped them, um, the only fiddly bit is if you want to use the acorns, but I'll show you how I'm going to use those. But then you can cut the bear, the owl, although it looks like an alien that way, a fox, you know, and then there's some shrubbery. But I like these little bits here because I've made a shake. I've made a shaker card before with these, and they cut leaf outlines. But there's like two or three of each one, so you get four of five of these little small leaves, and then two oak leaves, and then you've got your um, outline die for your acorn, and then sort of an inner. If you stamp it, you can cut out the stamped image or what I was thinking was, if I cut out the, the frame of it, let me just find my pick tool so I can just poke out the bits. It doesn't take long, and I use very small pieces of scrap paper as well, so of um, cardstock, so I don't waste any. So I was thinking, I wonder if this little one that I've cut out of um, early espresso, no, soft suede, sorry. I think that's where I had it as. And then I thought I could layer them up. And then you'd get... And maybe I should have done it the other way around with the colours. But that works for me. It's fine. So I'm going to... Now I've put nails on because I'm going on holiday. And these ones are a little bit chunky to what I'm used to. But I have managed to get two lots of nails out of one packet. Which is just genius because the packet was very cheap in the first place. Now, is my, my glue going to work? And I've definitely got the wrong glasses on, haven't I? Well, that was clever, wasn't it? Right, let's see if we can get this to come out. Oh, there we go. It's coming out a bit now. There we are. So I'm just going to use my finger to spread it around. Wipe it on my mat, because that's what my grid paper's for. Well, that's what I think anyway. And then I'm just going to layer that up and put it there to dry. And then I'll just grab another one and push all the bits out. And I mean, you could do paper piecing with these and just use the pieces in the middle and put them into another frame. But I ain't got time for that. So I'm just going to layer this up on the solid acorn. So let's hold that with that. And then, and I couldn't find my sticky sheets. So I will show you how I do my scrappy cards when I don't have a sticky sheet. See, this is quite fiddly, but most of the card isn't that fiddly. It's more a case of just layering up your pieces now to finish your card. And with a bit of glue and a bit of bling and a bit of, you know, flair. <laughs> so 
So there we go, right, let's just do this one. So I will be back from holiday before next Saturday. Um, but I have premiered it. I may be here, I don't know, because it depends what we decided to do, because there's entertainment where we're going. So it depends how tired the kiddie widdies are, because I don't want to be coming home and needing a holiday to get over the holiday. <laughs> right, so I've shown you the dies. So I'm going to move those out of my way. Then I am going to grab my little plate, my little dish, and then I'm going to push all of my pieces into my dish, including my mushrooms and my owl. So what I've got is. I started off with some sheets like this, which is from the Happier Than Happy um, papers. And I think this one, is that one retired? I'm not sure if that one's retired, but you can do without that piece because these have all got, these are all double-sided as well. So you could just mix and match. And there's some more there. And then I've got a fuller sheet of the, um, the rings from the center of the tree them over there. So I'm going to move those out of the way because I'm going to use some of those to um, highlight my bears. You'll see what I mean when I do it. So let me just get my scraps back over here and move all of my blocks because I've made a right mess over here. Okay, so I'm going to grab my green. Now my plan is, is that I'm going to cut these a bit shorter like that one and then I'm going to block them trouble is when I made the card I wasn't making sure I cut straight lines but I want to have a little tiny border around these so that when I place them on here you can still see a bit of the mossy meadow cardstock so I'm going to try and get them to cut straight And I don't want them all the same length, but, you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. But this one I'm going to leave a little bit longer because you can't really tell what it is if I just chop it like that. You've got the back end of a bird. So I probably will use the other side of that one. Although actually, nope, that one's got a mark on it anyway. So this one is from the Pansy Papers, I think. Yeah, um, they're retired, but, you know, just use what you have. All I did was go in my DSP box and pulled out a few bits and pieces that the colours matched the Happier Than Happy papers. And, I mean, look, see, you could just stick to the Happier Than Happy papers if you wanted to. Because the other side of that is the floral with the branch and things on it. See that side? Nothing. This side... Some green foliage that will go very nicely with the background colour. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to—I might just grab more than one piece at a time now and just choppity chop chop. Otherwise, we're going to be here all night. <laughs> and I—it's—it's it's quite late, and we're going on holiday tomorrow. So I'm filming this on the Thursday. Okay, so I love the back of this one, little tiny hearts, but it's got the mushrooms on the other side, but we will just go with the flow. What else? I'm sure they've got different ones to that. Yeah, the tree bark ones aren't really going to work very well, I don't think, but I think maybe we should have the owl in one and a, and a tree part in another. Right, so we're going to go start with these and then we'll work our way through everything else. And I'm just going to glue each individual piece, but I'm going to use my actual Tombow, not the one I've decanted into. Now, you could do this two ways. You can glue the piece of DSP or you could... You could um, 
glue the cardstock underneath but I find that if it dries a little bit it leaves it a bit lumpy so I don't do that not very often unless I know I've got long pieces to put on so I'm gonna do that So then we've got, let's have a look, we'll have a hearts down here, so then I'm just going to see what I mean about me not cutting straight. <laughs> I'm going to leave a gap between there and there as well, so that needs to be chopped about there. And it's just about right, it doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to be putting stuff on top of this but I just thought it would look nice if it had a little bit of a board around it so you can see the green so I am going to probably speed this bit up so that you don't have to watch me do all of this and I will be back with you shortly There we have our background ready and obviously when we place it onto here it will have another border which will sort of even it out anyway which is great. Just need to um, bone fold this a bit so more so then it holds flat. So then what we need to decide is I will bring my little dish of things back now the bear is quite big so he could go down there but the idea is, is that we have a couple of characters yeah I do think we need the bear but what we do is we get our wood pieces I'm just going to roughly cut this one out. And then I will fussy cut with my wiggly lines. I'm not following it exactly, but I'm not leaving any white lines. I'm trying to follow where there is some like edges. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll place that onto there and then the bear will go on top of that. See, now the bear is very big. So if I turn that sideways and put the fox on it, you get the idea. And then we'll have a small one up here with the owl on it. So this one here will do very nicely. Remember to turn your paper, not your scissors. This has got to be one of my favourite sets, the Happier Than Happy. I just find they're very um, versatile. You can use them for lots of different things. And you know me, I love a bit of cute. Okay, we will be putting these on dimensionals. 
if you are posting and you're worried about the thickness then you could glue them straight flat if that's better for you but for me these will probably sit on the shelf over there for six million years <laughs> then I have these pieces and I'm gonna dot them about but because I'm gonna raise them up they will stand out a bit more especially like the acorns sat on different bits and pieces so let's grab some dimensionals I have some little tiny ones and I have the big ones so I'll use both of these probably right so I don't need that now so I'll just put that out of my way um, I'm just wondering no, I can't remember if this is still available but I know there's a twine that is similar to this I'm just wondering if maybe it needs a bit of twine between the animal and the log slice. Well, that would give it a bit more texture, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to snip that there. I don't know what I'm doing now. What am I doing? Should be sleeping, but hey ho. Couldn't leave you all with nothing. We've had a cup, you know, when my husband was in hospital, I, we missed a video, so we are going to try and catch up a bit. So I think that will look quite cute actually with the, the fox on top to give him a bit of texture. So I think what we'll do is we'll create this bit and then we'll. Uh, um, lift up the log as well. So sure, we need some dimensionals on the back of the fox which actually I think will work fine with that and then maybe a small one on his snout. I think every time I take dimensional backs off, I do it a different way. So that is how I'm going to stick my string, my twine to my fox like that. And then we'll do the owl as well. So should we have a bit of twine behind the owl as well? I think that might be it. Oh, look, I've got a piece already. <laughs> Although the owl isn't quite as... Um, broad shall we say as the uh... so what I like to do is make it into a circle around my fingers and then sort of turn it into a figure of eight and then it kind of sticks out well if it would stay and it's because I'm doing quite a small circle because the owl is not very big so just twist it like so and then Pop it on there. Now you could use a glue dot, which would actually be a pretty, you know, pretty good idea to hold that in place. So I'm just going to get, oh, I do this all the time. I pull it out and then I end up pulling loads out and I didn't need to do that because I only wanted one, but I was looking at the wrong side of the bit that comes out so I'll sort that out after so let me just get me twine again and give it a twist to make my figure of eight and then stick it in the middle like so it doesn't all have to stick because once we put the owl on it'll be fine so I think we'll put a couple of big ones on the owl because then it will spread over the top of the twine and help to hold it down as well. Right, so I get him right. The other way I like to do this is to hold it with my tweezers because then you, your fingers don't get in the way. So that's going to go there. So owl is going to go just like that on there. So we're going to turn these over. 
No, let me see. I do have a bit of scrap. And this will hold it. This will be a bit sturdier than doing a few different patches of them. Of the smaller ones. So let me just put these back on because I'll make, need to leave room for a sentiment. So there's the owl stuck on. And then the fox. like that and then okay so then we need to decide how we're going to put a sentiment on and what sentiment we're going to put on so let me just see, where did I put the stamp set there? So we could do welcome and we could use this tag, pun, uh, tag die, so I just need to make room to be able to reach to do it. So I am just going to find a piece of scrap. Oops, that one. I think that would work. So let's stamp in soft suede. Need to clean all my stamps before I put them away. I have done a little bit of stamp surgery on this because I am heavy handed. Right, let's see if I can get this to stamp the first time. It's not very dark is it? Hang on, let me just do it a little bit more. It might be just that the soft suede isn't dark enough. No, look, I've given myself a halo now because I'm pressing too hard. Well, the first one looks the best, so we're going to go with that. Now, we want it that way round. Oh, I've gone too far away from the edge. Oh, my goodness. Right, we're just going to go right in the middle. There we go. That'll do nicely. And then I'm going to find the middle. Oh, didn't stick. <laughs> this is not going well. Okay, right. And I don't I don't edit these pieces these bits out because I was just wondering whether I could fit baby in there. Oh, see look I'm doing welcome and I wanted to put hello hello baby. Right, we're just gonna scrap that bit. <laughs> If it's still in here, then that's fair enough. I decided to leave it in, but if it's uh, basically Boo Boo City. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to get the early espresso because it'll be nice and dark. And I know that my big ink pad is well inked. See, when I do that the first time. Hello, baby. I've got to love a new baby. Lots of little squishies. Okay. Uh, there we go. So, generally now, when I do a video, I won't have any interruptions from Aaliyah because she has now been sleeping in her own bed. 
I'm going to sleep in her own bed awake for over a week. So she's doing totally awesome, loving school. It's making her very tired, which also helps with her getting to go to sleep. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit more of that twine. So let's have a look and see. So that's going to go there, but I'm wondering if we should just sort of have it hanging like a label or should we tie just tie a little bow just on this end here. So I'm going to get the twine again. Where have I got? Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. Oh, look, I've got a bow already tied. Genius. See, if I make a bow and I don't use it stuff it in the middle of my tube <laughs> so I want it a little bit smaller I think but then did I want to tie it on like that I do quite like it but I'm not sure whether it should be a bit further down maybe Or further up I don't know what do you think I think I might do a uh, like a little tiny bow like that there okay that's what we're gonna go with so I need some dimensionals on here And then I'm going to put one of these immense amount of glue dots that I pulled out because, you know, I'm clever like that. And I'm going to get one on my bow. Nope, that one didn't stick. Well, I'll forget. So what I'm going to do, because it's a very little tiny bow, is I'm going to try and not get it to stick to my nail, because that would be great not to do that. <laughs> right, so, little bow. Take the backs off. Then... Work out roughly where I want it, and then oh, okay. My bow was upside down, so the glue was on the wrong side. So I've made a little ball with the glue because obviously, because it's a glue dot, it's quite a bit. Why are you sticking to me more than you are sticking to the paper? That's not normal. There we go. Right, so, and then we can just put glue on the back and glue it on, and then we're done. So, I always say, if you've got loads of scraps, just sit there with pieces of, basically, matting layers, and just make a load. Someone got a three-dimensional. Just checking I've got the card around the right way because, you know, it has been known for me to glue them on the wrong way. There we go. Stick that on there. Clean up the desk. Now, we could put maybe two mushrooms. Instead of using gems, you can use little embellishments like these. even actually make it look like the acorn is hanging on there. That looks very cool. I'm going to do that. So I've done that. So let me get my reverse tweezers. Where, have, where did they go? Oh look, I swished them right off the edge. And then I'm going to put it so that it looks like it's hanging down from underneath. 
the bow and then I'm going to get another one and then maybe have I don't know whether I need another one just one little acorn looks quite cool so I like my owl there I don't want to cover that over so we'll just do those two little these two so I was thinking that maybe we could use that there so that joins them together and then cut another one in half for the other side and then See, and then because I put them on dimensionals and it makes them stand up, it kind of helps to make them stand out on the card, if you know what I mean. So we could have just one little shroom up here. So I'm going to hold him by the bottom and put one little tiny, one small dimensional on there. And then we can put the mushroom there like that. And there you go. You know, Cardo, done with scraps. And I think I've got enough scraps here to do at least two more cards. Um, so I'm going to leave that there. And thank you all for joining me. And I hope you've had a good natter while I'm away on my holiday. <laughs> hopefully having an amazing time I'm sure we will because it's away from the house and it just gives you a nice break doesn't it okay thank you so much for watching and I will be putting a matting layer in here while we all say goodbye